Local almond growers are assessing the damage from recent wind and freezing temperatures. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is in Dixon getting answers on how much could be lost. This almond orchard is a far cry from the fast-paced world Yasleen Galetti is used to. I was uh, for 20 years in corporate America, and I worked for Hewlett Packard for many years in their HR department as a senior HR manager. She now manages nearly 400 acres of almonds outside Winters. You're actually producing something and you see it every year and you can, you know, it's just, I think it's just more fun, more rewarding. With reward also comes some risk, and this year Mother Nature has not been kind. Mm, this year is potentially not looking good. Warmer temperatures forced an early almond blossom bloom. But when temperatures fell into the 20s for several days in late February, she says she lost 70% of her crop. We tried whatever we could do. I'm a new grower, so we were told to just water the orchard and keep the soil moist and try to bring the temperatures down. You never know what, what works, really. Lisa Shipley works with the Solano County Farm Bureau. Growers are concerned about drastic drops in temperatures this year. And then we have this wind, which is not helpful either. Um, but we're reaching out, we're working in conjunction with the Agricultural Commissioner um, for Solano County. And we have a survey out to the growers, so we're expecting something back more um, representative of the actual loss, um, probably in the next week to 10 days. Each almond tree can produce around 20,000 blossoms, depending on size and variety. And each flower is receptive to pollen about one to three days, so timing is everything. The next month will be critical to ensure nuts that are forming do not face even more frost. In the meantime, Galetti still has to pay for bees, fertilizer, and labor to prep for harvest. We do harvest because even if it's 20% of the crop, you do harvest because you got to get that nut, whether it's damaged or it's brown inside, you got to get it off the tree. Well, fewer almonds, of course, drive up costs for consumers, but there is another reason to care about the almond bloom as well. USDA research shows a compound in the nectar and pollen of almond trees can reduce honeybee viruses and parasites, which threaten honeybee health and colonies. 